Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. So today I came up with some things you should do, you should not do if you're visiting Japan or living in Japan. After I've got another list of things you shouldn't do when living in Japan. But this one sort of covers both visiting and living here. So, you know, it's important to follow the cultural norms and etiquette. So number one, don't wear shoes indoors. So everywhere, homes, traditional accommodation, temples, restaurants, some restaurants. So it's considered unclean to wear your shoes indoors. Instead, you should use indoor slippers. Most places provide these. Number two, don't speak loudly in public, like on public trains, buses, and public spaces. Japanese people value quietness in public. Speaking loudly, especially on public transport, is considered distractive. Number three, don't point at people or things. So this goes everywhere. Pointing is seen as rude. If you indicate to something, it is better to use a gesture or an open hand or use your fingers discreetly. Number four, don't eat or drink while walking. So this mainly is on streets and in public places. Eating or drinking while walking is considered bad manners. It's better to stop and finish your food and drink before moving on. Number five, don't tip. So this is everywhere. Restaurants, taxis, shops, anywhere you don't tip. You know, we don't tip in Japan. It's not a part of Japanese culture. And it can be insulting. Excellent service is given as the norm and prices you pay cover that. So you don't tip. You don't need to. Number six, don't blow your nose in public. Like on public transport, public places. Blowing your nose in public is considered impolite. If you need to do this, it's best to do it discreetly or go to a bathroom or something like that. Restroom sort of thing. Number seven, don't stick chopsticks upright in your rice. So you have a bowl of rice, don't stick your chopsticks in the top. This is everywhere, restaurants, home, anywhere you eat, you don't do this. Because it represents funeral ritual. And at the funerals and at the, um, what do you call, the grave sites and that, they have things and they stick incense in it and light it. So it rep it looks like that. So if, you do, if you're not using your chopsticks, either put them across the bowl or put them down next to the bowl. But don't stick them into it. It's not good at all. Number eight, don't engage in public displays of affection. This is in public places. Kissing, hugging and other forms of public displays of affection is generally frowned upon. In Japan, where people value personal space and modesty. Number nine, don't ignore bathing etiquette in onsens. So this, this occurs even at home too. Um, public baths and hot springs. So before you enter a onsen or a bath, you always wash outside and rinse yourself off. You do this at home too. Before you have a bath, you always wash your body and rinse yourself off before you enter the bath. Entering the bath without doing so is considered unclean and disrespectful. Number 10, don't be late. So like meetings, appointments, social gatherings, uh, punctuality is highly valued in Japan and being late is seen disrespectful, always aim to arrive a few minutes early. My wife is always late, so this doesn't always occur. Anyway, that's it. Now I've got another 10, so we're going to go through them in a second. 
Okay, now these ones mainly are for if you are living in Japan. So number one, don't ignore social hierarchy. Japan has a social place, a strong hierarchy sort of thing, respect for elders and that sort of thing. So at work, social gatherings, meetings and thing, it is important to be aware and respect these hierarchies. Number two, don't assume everyone speaks English. Yeah, not many people do. While English is taught in schools, not everyone is comfortable speaking. Making an effort to speak Japanese, even basic phrases, is appreciated and helps everyone. Number three, don't fail to separate your trash. So we have to do this all the time. Uh, Japanese are very strict with waste separation. With different days, you, your rubbish is, is bundled up and, and taken. So you have to put it in plastic bags. Burnables go in one bag. Recyclables go in other bags. So you have to do this. Just throwing everything in together is not good. They frown upon it. Like pet bottles, white trays, they get separated too. Like here at my place, we have garbage day on Tuesday and, and Friday. And plastic recyclables are on Wednesday. This is really important. They're very strict on this. So it, it's a very important one. Number four, don't ignore silence in public places. Silence is valued in public spaces, such as trains, buses. Loud conversations, phone calls disrupt the behavior and is frowned upon. Number five, don't skip payments of social insurance. So you have to pay for your pension fund, your health care, taxes, things like that. If you don't do it, they can revoke your visa. So you have to be really careful with this. Number six, don't overlook social etiquette at, etiquette at work. Japanese work culture has an unwritten rule, such as bowing and greeting colleagues, bringing small gifts after returning on trips, and participating after work socialising. Ignoring these can lead to misunderstanding or social... Um, they just... It, like you're not trying to get along with other people. It's not really... It's not good. So you have to try to fit in with people. Uh, number seven. Don't disagree on personal spaces. Japanese people value personal spaces and physical contact such as hugging or touching is not a common thing. Respect this by helping to maintain a comfortable social distance. Don't Number eight, don't be overly opinionated or conflictive. Japanese culture values harmony. Being over direct, uh, conflictive, especially in group settings, can upset people. It's disrespectful. It's not very good. Number nine, don't ignore your neighbours. Building a good relationship in your neighbourhood is important in Japan. It's customary to greet them when you move in, maintain a polite, friendly interaction. Ignoring them can lead to cold atmosphere. It's not good. It's, it's, it's good to be friendly with your neighbours anyway. And last one is like we did before in number one, don't forget to take your shoes off. This goes beyond homes, many workplaces, clinics, schools, even some restaurants require you to remove your shoes and wear slippers. So this is just something you do. Um, just become second nature after a while when you go into a place you just take your shoes off feels a bit funny now if I don't do it so these are just some things that will help you you know if you visit if you're visiting Japan or if you're living in Japan these will just help your stay go a lot smoother so if 
the less conflict you can have, the better off you'll be. A lot of this stuff is just common sense, though. It's not really, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to work this sort of stuff out. So just go along with the flow. You know, be polite to people. Japanese people are very polite. So if you just be polite and just go along with everything, just watch people and sort of do what they do. And I think you'll have a fine, a great time here. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you take something away from it. So if you're visiting Japan, I hope you have a great stay here. If you're living here, just keep battling on. You'll be right. Okay, that's all for today. Till next time, that's all for now.